Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how I processed in Luminar 3 to take this raw file from what you see here to this. And also go through an issue, something I've noticed in Luminar with the denoise filter. So let's jump into it. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm in Luminar 3 here, and I've already started. Um, all I've done is just this base raw develop. Um, the raw develop module on this base layer. I haven't gotten too into it Yeah, but I'm going to show you how I get to that final image and kind of go through what I've already done So the first thing I did is I changed my profile to camera landscape I added a little bit of contrast. I pulled my highlights down as you can see from the original photo It's uh, you know, the highlights are um, Need to be brought down the shadow areas are pretty dark So I opened up my shadows a little bit added a little bit of a white point actually quite a bit of a white point a little bit of a black and My shadow recovery in luminar. It's kind of a balance between opening up shadows. See if I go all the way it Kind of looks unnatural Fuzzy I not that doesn't look great. So I kind of balance between shadows and these accent AI filter um so I did a little bit of the Accent AI, a little bit of the AI Sky Enhancer. I don't like that super dark look all the time. A little bit of dehaze, and then this is really where I did a lot in the advanced contrast, as you can see where you kind of bring the sky to life and everything else, and also get into those shadows a little bit more. The polarizing filter, I just did a little bit, only down in the water, I didn't do the sky. And structure, I also added just a little bit, um, just to the tree line, just to sharpen it up a little bit. And that's all I did on this base layer. Now I'm gonna kind of work my way through the rest of it, show you how I bring this line of trees to life. And then you can see the sky looks absolutely atrocious, super noisy, pretty bad. I'll show you how I fix that. And also an issue, a weird thing that I can't figure out with denoise, but anyway, Let's go. Next layer, add a new adjustment layer. All I'm gonna do for the trees is add three filters. I'm gonna go into <coughs> uh, color contrast, which I think is an awesome filter. I'm gonna grab the hue saturation luminance. And I'm also gonna grab bah, 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 details enhancer. Okay. Um, when I start doing this, it's gonna do it to the whole thing. So I'll paint this in though afterwards. Anyway, color contrast, start to bring that up a little bit. And basically all I wanna do is get these colors, that these fall colors that were starting to come out um, at the very beginning of fall here. Things were really starting to change, the yellows, the oranges, and just get them to come out a little bit. I'm also gonna add a little bit of brightness. All right, something like that. Um, now we'll tweak it as we go here. Then I'm gonna come over to hue and I'm just gonna grab my orange and my yellow and just make some adjustments to kind of bring those colors out. So you see if you slam the orange, it looks a little bit ridiculous. So we're just gonna do it a little bit here. And the yellow will make probably the biggest difference. And for me, it's kind of balancing between going like too unnatural to what I felt like it looked like. You know, I like that look of the colors just starting to peek through the trees. You know, you can see for the most part, they're still pretty green, but you're starting to get, you know, the colors along the shore and the change. So I think it looks pretty cool. Sometimes on the greens, if you pump up the luminance a little bit, I kind of like that look. Um, and then, oh my gosh. All right, sorry about that, um, we're back. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is just a little bit of detail enhancement. On a shot like this where the subject's pretty far away, I really just add a little bit of small detail just to just to bring it back to life a little bit. And you can obviously go crazy with this and it looks idiotic, but um, if you just do a little bit, it, it, it's, it's not super noticeable at first, but it does make a difference. So. We'll go maybe a little bit more, maybe something like that, and see how that looks. And I'm just gonna grab the brush because I only want it to affect here. I'll make this a little bit smaller. And just start brushing in. You can see as you brush it in, that's where you really notice the difference when you brush it in. I wanna get up into the sky here. 
not into the sky, I mean right to the edges, to the edge of the sky. So as you come along the edge here, the difference that it makes, get this little guy coming out here. Let's just make sure we got it all. I always never get this edge. All right, come right up along here. Right along here, right along here. And then make it nice and small and just get these trees. Being like really, really crazy about it, but easy enough. All right, and there you go. So now um, I'll just hit done. The thing I like about Luminar is I can always get back in and change this. You know, if I come back to the photo after I'm finished and I just don't really like it or I think something's not right or I want to change something, the fact that I don't have to hit apply and go back to Lightroom, that it's just in here. I have the raw file in here. I do I have, I have, do enjoy that. So here's the um, without that and with that. So you can see it brings that line of trees to life. Definitely makes it more interesting. Definitely pops. Um now, the big issue that we got to work on, and this is where I've noticed that things are weird. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to come down here to my sky water fix. Okay. All right. I am going to zoom in. I mean, it's terrible. Super noisy. So I jam my luminosity. I'm going to go up to 80 because I... I don't mind, I know that 80 is like a lot and it really smooths it out, but that looks good because I want the sky to look super smooth. But look at how good it looks. But watch this, when I zoom out, bitty, grainy, it doesn't do it. It like won't do it. All right, let's add a little bit of radiance here. I think the radiance looks really good just to make just to brighten up the skies a little bit. I'm not going to adjust the brightness or whoa. Maybe like 18. We don't want to go too far. I'm not going to adjust the brightness or anything. You can see you can kind of get out of control there. Um, brightness or shadows. Maybe. Nah. All right. But the sky still looks grainy. So I'm going to take this guy. Okay, nice big brush. And I'm going to turn this on so I can see it. I'm going to paint in the whole thing. I'm going to come right down to the tree line. Make Try to make like a nice soft. And then I will make a smaller one. Turn on erase and just kind of come along the top of the trees because I don't want this in the trees at all. And it's kind of a back and forth with paint and erase to get it right. Um, and then, so it's kind of a hard line. And I'll go back to paint and make it a little bit bigger and just sort of come along the top there. Obviously it's not, you know, in Photoshop you can do like a crazy select and mask and everything and get it perfect, but I don't know if this is a need to be perfect type image. And then I'll make it a little bit bigger, maybe pull my opacity down to like 80-ish. And I'll come in here and I'll just hit the water. Get some of that, just kind of smooth out the water where it's looking a little rough. Turn this off, Turn hit done. Now, this is what I've been noticing and that I don't understand before, after. So we brought the picture to life. We've got some color. Got the color without doing any type of saturation. It's mostly just been through color contrast, making some hue adjustments, uh, contrast adjustments. So I think it looks good, but the sky does not look great. It's not what I did. So if you toggle that off and then back on, it makes somewhat of a difference. But if you zoom in and then sort of let it render through, that is the smoothness. Now watch. It won't do it. It won't render out. But watch. So the last thing I would do to this, a picture like this, would be I got to get rid of the sensor spots. Now there's one bad one right here. There's actually a whole bunch in the sky, but because of the, the you know, the clouds, you can't really see them. Like I know that this thing right here is a sensor spot. Um, so I'm just going to go in. I'm going to get rid of this and just get rid of that. And I do that by going tools, clone and stamp. 
and then it, give it a minute here to catch up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Look. It's it like it rendered it out. Look how smooth the sky is now. Now, I it's just very weird to me that it won't render on the layer. And I'll show you again in a second here. So I'm going to click my source and just fix that. Let's go up here. Oh, I'll hit. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger because this is a bigger one. I'll hit like all and just. There we go. And I don't really see any other ones that are noticeable. Maybe. Maybe right here. No, I think it's fine. Um, I think it looks good. I mean, at the, any other sensor spots, definitely just blend into the clouds at this point. There's nothing else I feel like I need to get rid of. So we'll hit done. But this is what I don't understand. And this is what is so confusing to me about Luminar. So I'm super interested if anyone else sees this. Um, processing. Processing. Goodness. All right. So, if I toggle these layers off, we'll go layer by layer. So there's the base raw. This is where I fixed the tree line. This is where I fixed the sky, but it's still super grainy. All I did on this layer, all this layer was, was a clone and stamp layer. But look, that layer is where the sky is finally smooth. It stays smooth zoomed in and zoomed out. This layer, if I zoom in, wait for it to render, it'll render it smooth, but when I zoom out, it won't. What is that? I don't get that. So, well, there, ah, gone. <laughs> ah, geez. So that's weird. Let me know. Um, if you're using this program, if you've noticed that before, if you've seen that now, um, I might throw like a little bit of a vignette on this. Um, let's just see what it looks like. So I just add a new adjustment layer. Let's just go There's a couple of different ways you can do a vignette, but probably the easiest one is just to do this. Uh, maybe... Maybe something like, oh, there it is. I like to open up the feather. Maybe something like that. Inner light. Add a little bit of inner light. I think that looks pretty good. So there's the before, there's the after. So let me know what you think. Um, I think that's kind of a cool photo. It took me a while to work on it. it took this months ago. I like I like photos this time of year with a little bit of the color contrast. Uh, kind of a cool lake. But um, I think the sky looks really cool now. I think it looks much better. But that whole denoise thing is confusing. So comment below. Let me know what you think of the picture. If you like it. If you don't like it. If you found any of this useful or helpful. Or if you've seen this issue in Luminar 3 with the denoise. And what you've done about it. Thanks guys.